The field of astronomy is home to a phenomenon that has both intrigued and puzzled scientists for years. Behind the glittering veil of the Milky Way, in a region known as the Zone of Avoidance, there exists a gravitational anomaly that is vast beyond our vision and powerful beyond our imagination. This is the Great Attractor, a force that pulls slowly and inevitably, drawing everything towards it. What exactly is the Great Attractor, and what secrets does its enigmatic pull hold? Here we take you on a journey where you get to witness the jaw-dropping pull of this astronomical marvel. The Great Attractor was initially discovered in the 1970s when astronomers created detailed maps of the cosmic microwave background, which is the radiation that fills the universe and can be detected in every direction. They noticed that it was slightly warmer on one side of the Milky Way than the other. This finding implied that the galaxy was moving through space at a brisk clip of about 370 miles per second. The astronomers were successful when it came to measuring the rapid velocity, but they couldn't explain its origin. The Zone of Avoidance The Great Attractor is undoubtedly a mystery, and whatever it is, it lies in the direction of the constellation Centaurus and the disk of the Milky Way cuts right through our view that way. Our galaxy is filled with junk that includes stars, gas, and dust. All of this junk blocks the light that arises from the more distant universe. Astronomers are good at mapping most of the large-scale structure of the universe, except for the region where we're forced to look through our galaxy. This region has been termed the Zone of Avoidance. The Great Attractor sits deep in the zone and is thus difficult to characterize. For several decades, humans had little to no information when it came to the structure of the universe in that direction, and thus, they had no clue about the identity or contents of the Great Attractor. Astronomers had two options. The first was to wait for the natural orbit of the solar system around the center of the Milky Way to wheel us into a better viewing position, which would take about 100 million years. The second option was to get creative, and now, with infrared, scientists could peer into great distances. Well, to comprehend what exactly has been going on with the Great Attractor, we need to look at the big picture. By the big picture, we mean the biggest picture of all. What lies beyond our Milky Way is our galactic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. This galaxy exists a little over 2.5 million light years away. The next big thing is the Virgo Cluster, which can be described as more than 1,300 galaxies packed into a dense clump. The cluster lies about 65 million light years away and is gravitationally bound, meaning that its member galaxies tend to hang out close to each other and are tied up by their mutual gravity. As you go beyond them, you encounter superclusters, which are enormous collections of galaxies. In really simple words, they're larger than a cluster, but smaller than a universe. These simple words worked fine until astronomers needed to start getting serious work done, such as figuring out what was going on with the Great Attractor. The Norma Cluster is the closest massive galaxy cluster to the Milky Way, and it is about 220 million light years away from us. The largest galaxy that is visible in this image is ESO 137Z002, which is a spiral galaxy. This image was captured by the Hubble telescope, and here, you can see large regions of dust across the bulge of the galaxy. What we do not get to see here is the tail of glowing X-rays that have been observed to be extending out of the galaxy. The problem is that this is invisible to an optical telescope such as Hubble. Observing the Great Attractor is a challenging task at optical wavelengths. The plane of the Milky Way, which is responsible for the plethora of bright stars seen in the image, outshines and obscures many of the objects that lie behind it. With the help of infrared or radio observations, one could see through it. But the region that lies behind the center of the Milky Way, where the dust is thickest, exists as a mystery to astronomers. We exist in a hierarchical universe, and over the past billions of years, Matter has been accumulating into small clumps, which merged into bigger clumps. Now, our local group has begun to condense, with the Milky Way and Andromeda headed for a collision in about 5 billion years. But what is more intriguing and scary is that almost all the nearby stuff, including the Milky Way, Andromeda, the Virgo Cluster, and environs, 
is heading toward the Great Attractor. In 1992, most of the apparent signal of the Great Attractor was attributed to a statistical effect called Malmquist bias. It was in 2005 when astronomers conducted an X-ray survey of part of the sky known as the Clusters in the Zone of Avoidance Project. The project reported that the Great Attractor was only one-tenth the mass of the original estimate by scientists. The survey also confirmed earlier theories that the Milky Way galaxy is being pulled toward a much more massive cluster of galaxies close to the Shapley Supercluster, which exists beyond the Great Attractor, and which is called the Shapley Attractor. Things have now come a long way as the simple definition of a supercluster has evolved from being a large blob of galaxies to a volume of space where all the galaxies are flowing to a common center. This definition has helped in reworking our understanding of the local universe. The Virgo supercluster isn't an isolated object, but it can be described as an arm of an even larger structure, the Laniakea supercluster. The Great Attractor is believed to be at the gravitational center of the Laniakea supercluster, of which the Milky Way is just one galaxy out of a hundred thousand others. One theory is that it's a confluence of dark energy, while another states that it might be caused by overdensity, an area of dense mass with an intense gravitational pull. Since the expansion of the universe is credited to dark energy, it has been considered that only something equally dark could have the power to overcome it. Thus, it is believed that instead of a massive supercluster being responsible, it is a mysterious, undiscovered force called dark flow. The concept of dark flow is quite controversial, as the distribution of matter in the observed universe cannot account for it. The initial indications of a deviation from the uniform expansion of the universe were reported in 1973 and again in 1978. By 1986, the location of the Great Attractor was finally determined. It is situated at a distance that ranges between 150 and 250 million light years away from the Milky Way. Here, 250 million light years is the recent estimate. It is located in the direction of Triangulum Austral, or the Southern Triangle, and Norma, or the Carpenter's Square. The Great Attractor isn't a thing, but a place. And the fact is that this place would not remain great for long. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, will never reach it. That is because before we do, dark energy will rip the Norma Cluster away from us. Clusters will remain as they are, but superclusters will never live up to their names. So yes, we have nothing to fear from the Great Attractor, no matter how great it may be. In simple words, we're headed towards something we can't see and we'll never get there. The majority of the astronomical world does not consider the Great Attractor to be a threat. Yet, there are a handful of those who posit that all galaxies and clusters are clumping into greater superclusters, and that might be how the universe ends. They believe that this could be a part of what's called the Big Crunch, which could theoretically be followed by another Big Bang. The Great Attractor continues to be one of the most mysterious places in our cosmic neighborhood. What makes this place mysterious is indeed its pull, which draws everything, including us, towards it. Our galaxy might not reach this, but the effects of this enigmatic region will still unfold in one form or another. In your opinion, how strong is the Great Attractor and would the Milky Way reach it? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, we'll see you guys soon.